So for those of you who don't perhaps know, architecture isn't just the stuff you see on TV with George Clark and uh, Kevin MacLeod. Architecture is everything around us. Architecture is everything from your house, your home, all the way through to the schools, the shops, the cities that we live in. So landscape architecture involves the planning, design and management of public spaces, outdoor spaces. Um, landscape architects typically work across a very wide range of scales, right from the kind of regional scale through to really detailed urban spaces. Landscape architects work with uh, an interesting palette of materials and so as a landscape architect you're working with vegetation, you're also working with topography, landform, water and built structures and you bring those materials to the sculpting and manipulation of different spaces. So the dual degree takes everything from architecture and everything from landscape and takes you through a course where you see how to join these two disciplines together. I would say the dual degree is everything in the built environment and I think architecture and landscape architecture pushes you beyond like the walls and foundations of a building and makes you kind of see everything as a whole. I chose to apply for the dual degree um, because I was looking at other architecture courses but the dual course seemed to offer a more a variety of things to study um, so I could make the decision about which to specialise in later. The course is taught through a range of scales of projects. In first year that will be home, that thing that you're most familiar with, and we'll move through the scales of projects as you progress in second year you'll be dealing with multiple housing units, uh, housing in small scale public landscapes, you'll start to move on to small scale civic architecture in medium scale landscapes. By the time you reach third year, you'll be dealing with medium scale civic building in large scale public landscapes. They will then go and work in industry for one or two years, and that's a real opportunity for them to apply the knowledge and skills that they've acquired through the course in a practice situation. And then they will come back to us, and that's when they have a two further years to um, integrate their skills and apply those to a range of projects. So it's a three year undergraduate, one to two years in practice, and then returning to us for two years to complete their, their programme. The application process was quite easy. Um, you just have to submit some photos of your A-level artwork um, and anything else that you're interested in, like woodworking or something like that. I think also what's a real feature of the programme is that visiting landscapes, going out on site, looking at architecture, is a really important part of that learning experience for students and so wherever possible we like to get the students out of the studio and out into the city and out into the surrounding landscape. You end up going on quite a few sort of study trips or exhibitions. Landscape architecture takes you all across the city into a lot of areas that I think a lot of students would never see um, if you weren't doing a project there. But the other good thing is that you do more design modules, so I spend more time in studio, which is the part I love. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I love the dual course. And I don't find the workload as overwhelming because it's more of what I love. The dual degree is a lot of work, but we make it manageable by the vehicle of an integrated project. An integrated project is something that you'll do one of every semester, where you will be given a brief by architecture and landscape department taught in both departments so it's one project but taught from both sides of the discipline. I would say my main top tip for any sort of architecture or landscape architecture student is use those studio days, get in at nine, leave at five and if you actually use them properly you've done eight hours of work and you can go home and relax. The thing that excites me most about the dual course is we produce great communicators Quite often we find that when students go through the course and into profession, they are the most wanted person at the table. They're able to talk landscape to architects, they're able to talk architecture to landscape architects. And that's a really key skill that not many people have within the construction industry. The students that really thrive on this programme are those that have a real interest in design but they also want to really get their teeth into how do we address some of the big global challenges that we face around climate change and how as designers we integrate the external spaces with buildings and within our urban environments. What I like about the course is the people and how you can learn off each other and they can support you when, there's, when it gets hard 
um, and you can learn from each other's different skills. I love how small the course is. Instantly it felt like family. And one of the best parts about studio as well is when you share your work and you share ideas. And it's so much less intimidating to do that with like a smaller cohort of people that you really know and you really like. The dual architecture and landscape degree is for students who are passionate about the built environment. They might be passionate about architecture, might be passionate about landscape, but above all, they're most interested in seeing how these disciplines can work holistically to make better places to live. Mm -hmm.